Hey guys, Vaughn here. It's been a while since we talked shoes, so let me offer up to you these new sandals, the Luxury Leatherstone Gray Double Layer Arch from Rainbow. This is a premium luxury leather. It is slightly thicker than the outgoing model, which I purchased and made a pretty popular video on back in 2018. So those sandals are nearly four years old, and this is the replacement. I found that you don't want to get these wet. People post, oh hey, they got mileage plus yeah we went so far in our rainbow sandals but you get these things wet they're going to deteriorate mine were absolutely wrecked from the moisture of sweaty feet and i'm hoping that the slightly thicker hide will aid me in keeping these looking and feeling new now i ordered these straight from rainbow i've actually purchased rainbow several times in various stores but this is the first time ordering from them you get a nice baggie you get a free face mask with your order and it's it's random it's made out of recycled hawaiian shirts it's kind of a cool concept. Actually, for my mom, got her Mother's Day gift, their Sierra Brown Comfort Classic with fleece lining. Those loafers, uh, let her keep the face mask for herself. You also get a recycle envelope baggie to return sandals in as a donation, where Rainbow will fix them up, rehabilitate them, and donate them to kids in need. I will be doing that with my older pair, but not my oldest pair. I used to wear those when I go and get the mail, maybe do a little bit of light lawn work. Most part, I was wearing my 2018 pair in the house, and they actually look more damaged than the ones I've had longer, and I think there's a little bit of an explanation behind that. See, that 2018 pair is made in China, as is my brand new pair, even my mom's fleece-lined loafers. And I think the quality has dipped slightly, or at least the quality control. I mean, I see some spots over here where Things are not cut to the standard one would expect at the price point you're paying here, over $70 for sandals. They're a little rough around the edges, literally. And that is not on the fault of Rainbow. The state of California said that they can't make more than X number of sandals in their shop. They had to outsource it to China. I don't want to bog this critique down with too many details, but it's kind of like you want to do something more eco-friendly. Oh, but it's an explosion hazard, so you can only make X number of sandals in your shop, forcing you to outsource to China. So if anybody is going to be directly blamed for the a slight dip in quality. I'm going to blame the state of California. Regardless, once you put rainbow sandals on feet, even though these are the luxury ones, the base model will give you the same euphoric massage. First impressions of rainbow sandals every single time is absolutely phenomenal. I don't wholeheartedly expect this pair to last me as long as my 2005 pair. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't want to live that long. Well, okay, here. I don't want to live here that long. I want to be in a frozen state, awakened in the future once they've perfected the unfreezing process. Until then, I like nice things that are not outrageous. There's a simplicity to rainbow sandals that I don't see in other brands. Maybe somebody builds up their sandal more, puts more logos on it, gets too obnoxious. Rainbow sandals are for those who know. You know what? I'm not getting paid off by them. I don't have a referral link for you necessarily. It gets you a break. Uh, there really isn't a promo code for rainbow sandals, despite it looking like you can enter one. If you spend over $100, you get free two-day shipping, which in my case turned out to be five days. But you know what? No regrets, man. Do you have rainbow sandals or are you interested in them? You know, give me some comments below. Let me know your thoughts on the brand, the current state of their sandals, if you have their older sandals, whichever. Thank you for watching my son's YouTube station. It's not for everyone, but he tries. Maybe if you bought some merch below, he'll eventually get good at the YouTubing.